What's up guys? I'm Jonathan Abrams, safety for the Las Vegas Raiders. This is Ammo, and welcome to Meet the Pets. I ultimately chose Ammo because I, I knew I wanted a really big dog because I knew he was going to be lazy, wasn't going to really, you know, jump around in the house because I did want a house dog. I was going to get the big dog that looks like a big fluffy poodle, but I couldn't really find anyone and I didn't want to deal with the shedding. Uh, for me, I was looking for, you know, a very big dog with a really great temperament and that's what I ended up getting. His name kind of took it took his own name for itself. So you know, ammo, you know, sleek, you know, bullets, and they do damage because at first when I first got him, he wanted to chew on everything, literally everything. One thing he never chewed on, I think, is because he kind of knew he don't chew on shoes. Cause I'm I'm a sneakerhead. If ammo chewed up my shoes, I think ammo would have to leave. And I think he kind of knew that. So these are my shoes. These are my favorites. The UNSV, only 30 pair made. Ended up giving away a jersey just to get these. These are the Chicago Shooting Stars. It's a $3,500 shoe. Shoe was a gift to me as a birthday gift. One of my friends, because my friends know how serious I am about my shoes. And all of my family and my friends know, if you want to give me a gift for any holiday, just buy me shoes. You can never go wrong. I'm always happy. I'm more ecstatic over shoes than anything else. Ammo ultimately is my best friend. And I tell a lot of people, if you don't have a dog, you pretty much should get one, you know. Having ammo kind of basically made me understand when they say dogs are humans' best friends. They know when something's wrong. They know when you're sad. They know when you're happy. Every day, you know, no matter what happened, how the day went, ammo's gonna be the same. Ammo doesn't care, he's happy. Ammo's the exact same person as me. You know, he doesn't really bother anybody. He just kind of does his own thing, lives in his own little world. He's a foodie though, just like me. So I do two scoops, fish and sweet potatoes. Heat it up for one minute, a turkey patty. In my opinion, Ammo eats better than me. All down, all the way, stay. Ammo eat. I give it a minute tops, everything will be gone. Crazy story about Emma, like I told you, the man does not, he does not bark. So my best friend Jalen, we were at the house and me and him kind of got into like a little tussle. I kind of like, I was choking him so we was wrestling and he slammed me like by the kitchen table and Emma was across the room. I was just kind of paying him attention, just watching his demeanor. And I told Jalen, I'm like, hey, you might want to stop. I'm like, I think Emma was about to bite you. And he was like, Emma don't bite. Emma don't even bark. Emma stood up. Ammo beelined for him. Like I had to put, get between him and Ammo. Ammo literally came and just went to snapping. At that point, I knew he was gonna be a really great guard dog. But if Ammo had a Twitter, he'd probably tweet about me and probably, probably talk trash, honestly. You know, cause I pretty much annoy him like he annoys me. If he does something I don't like, I do something he doesn't like. So if Ammo could tweet, he would definitely talk noise about me. This is the pet challenge with me and Emma. Sit. Good boy. Down, down, Emma, down, down. Good boy. Stay. I'll be back, stay. Stay. Sit. Good boy, good boy. So that's pretty much for the pet challenge. He doesn't do any more tricks. He hates to be treated like a pet. He prefers to be treated like a human. That's why he tries to get in the bed and sleep next to me at night. He snores like a grown man. <sighs> Legs spread wide open, just snoring. I'm like, bro, you gotta, you gotta stop. And then, you know, cause dogs can't control when they fluctuate, so. He will literally sit there and pass gas and look at you like, what? I didn't do nothing wrong. Sometimes like if he know it, like if it was loud, he get up and walk off and go lay down somewhere else. And I'm like, if you don't want to smell it, why do you think I want to smell it? Out of my teammates, hands down, and everybody knows this on my team, Ammo is the biggest dog. Ammo is the biggest animal. 
Max has this really big pit bull, but he's like bloated. You know, ammo is just naturally dead. If ammo gets bloated, I'm probably gonna have to get rid of him. He's probably gonna be like 300 pounds. And I don't know what we gonna do with that, cause then he's gonna be bigger than me. If ammo plays sports, yeah, ammo would be a nose guard. Super lazy, but big and just stout. You know, plug up the nose. He'll be like Vince Wilford. That's just play a comparison. Big Vince. Big Vince. Top three DBs who I model myself after. Um, in no particular order, Cam Chancellor, um, the Honey Badger, and Sean Taylor. Yeah, without a doubt. If I was stuck on the island with one current teammate, it'd be Keyshawn Nixon. Why? Because I know I wouldn't kill him. Anybody else, I'd probably kill and eat them. Me and him would probably figure out a way to get off the island. But like I said, if anybody else, I would probably just kill and eat them. Uh, what was it like playing for Dan Mullen? Kind of like playing for Nick Saban. Super structured, one way or the highway. But ultimately, I think that's what kind of gave me the edge that I have today and kind of ultimately helped me get to the NFL. Like the biggest difference between college and NFL, you do things on your time. If you don't work out in the off season, if you don't have any structure, you won't. You know, when you go to college, your days are structured out from, you know, because like when you get to the NFL, you got guys who play for the Raiders, but they live in New York, Fort Lauderdale. And if, if they don't handle their business on their own, then it pretty much doesn't work. Um, for me, I mean, in the off season, I pretty much, I try to keep like a similar structure to the season. Um, make sure I'm getting up every morning around the same time. So every morning I get up around 6.37, work out. And then pretty much after that, um, I spend a lot of time at just the house. Um, I draw, I paint, um, I read, so. Just keeping myself busy. Um, I've been drawing and painting my whole life. Um, just something I kind of pick back up because with football, it can be a lot, you know? So just finding time to keep myself busy, you know, because it's the biggest thing that guys have in off season is time. And when you have time and money, it, it could be a bad combination. So yeah, no, just a couple stuff I just sit around and do. The paintings that I recently just done, by hand drew them. I started doing this big poster of jellyfish. And I kind of made myself mad because I took my time and I done this red jellyfish and I ended up messing the tentacles up. And so I kind of got so upset that I just started just throwing paint on here. I was flustered. I love Elmo the most because he is stubborn, because he is who he is and he's not going to change it. He doesn't care if I like it or dislike it. You know, if you know, we trying to both get through a doorway and I bump into him, he look at me like I done something wrong. You know, but at the end of the day, like I said, me and him are a lot alike. As you guys can see, Ammo's pretty done. The sun's beat him up today. Thank you guys for having me. Until next time.